Today is May 13th, Pastor saying to us, never ruled by fear. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. There are certain negative forces that affect people's actions, choices, and decisions. One of them is fear. Fear is a tormenting spirit. There are different kinds of fear. The fear of failure, the fear of the future, the fear of man, the fear of death, the fear of darkness, and so on. Oftentimes, those who are driven by fear can't even define what they are afraid of. Yet, they perpetually live in fear. But we are never to be moved by fear, because we are born of God and live by faith. In your life, make up your mind that you'll never be ruled by fear. Never allow fear to prompt you to take an action or stop you from taking one. The Bible says, fear entraps, but if you trust in the Lord, you are safe. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25. There are people who are bound by the fear of insecurity. Even some leaders experience these fears in their leadership roles. But the Bible says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. That means, if you are born again, and filled with the Holy Spirit, fear has no place in your life. You should never be ensnared by fear. You are the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Blessed be God. It makes no difference the darkness in the world and how dismal the state of the world economy gets. We few should be agitated. Trust the Lord. He leads us in perpetual triumph. God has ordained your victory, promotion, and prosperity in the midst of darkness. He already planned that you'll be a success in this life, irrespective of what's going on in the world around you. So, live confidently every day knowing that your faith is the victory that overcomes the world. For whatsoever is born of God is victorious over the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, even our faith. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 of the Amplified Classic. Please say this confession with me. Satan and the powers of darkness are under my feet. Therefore, I have nothing to fear. The impulses of fear have been completely disabled from my life. Irrespective of the situation, I am bold and courageous, speaking the word in faith. My faith is a victory that overcomes fear, sickness, disease, and infirmities. I walk in dominion over the elements of this world. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Luke chapter 12, verse 32, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, and Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 37. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 6, verses 25 to 59, and 1 Kings chapters 10 to 11. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 10, verses 1 to 12, and Numbers chapter 16. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. 
for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.